Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the tenor guitar. This is not a ukulele, it is a tenor guitar. It is a four stringed instrument, but you will notice the strings run low to high, unlike ukuleles that sometimes have a high string there. Baritone ukuleles are similar, but it's tuned slightly different. You can tune it like a uke, like I've said, and it can be tuned like a mandolin, a mandola, the Chicago and Irish tuning. But for this video, we are tuned in fifths, in fifths five. C, the string nearest your chin, G, D, and A. That's the string from your chin, C, G, D, and A. If you've seen the previous videos, you will need to know the chords C, F, and G. But for this video, we'll be using one chord only, C. So I'll cover it here. This is the knot, these are frets. It's the third fret of the string nearest the floor, and the second fret of the string above that one. That's the only chord you will need for this video, because it is mainly focusing on the right hand. Like I said in the introduction, this is not a ukulele, but we will be using a ukulele type strum on it in this video, and in fact we'll be using a George Formby technique. This is called the split stroke, and it sounds like this. <laughs> For more information on the ukulele, which is exactly the same strumming technique we're using, I'll post a link at the end of this video. But basically we are counting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and there are two movements to this strum. The first one is repeated twice and then the second one. So, let's get started. The first movement is down through all the strings, catch the bottom string, tap the top. So it's down through all the strings, catch the bottom one, tap the top. I'm catching the bottom with the pad of my finger and tapping the top with my nail. And then a down up. So for one bar it is... That is down, catch, tap, repeat. Down, catch, tap, down, up. I'm sure you all recognise that sound. It is down, catch, tap, down, catch, tap, down, up, to one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Again, down through all the strings, catch the bottom string, tap the top. Down through all the strings, catch the bottom string, tap the top, then down up. To the count of one and two and three and four and 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 and you just repeat it. I should say this is not the strum you use when you're singing, this is when you're taking a solo. So one bar in 4-4 four, four would be... One bar would be... So one bar would be... Down, catch, tap, down, catch, tap, down, up. With me... 
one and two and three and four and one bar one bar If we were to apply that to the 12 bar blues, it would sound like this. Remember, it is this to each letter down below. So, one, two, three, four. I'm not going to lie, it does take a while to master this strum. It's keeping that repetitive bounce going over time. I know many people who have spent many hours and many months and indeed years learning this type of strum. Again, it's, it's suitable for ragtime and jazz and particularly George Formby but may not suit other types of music. And remember, you only do this strum when you're not singing or when there's a singer not singing. So remember, basically, it is down, catch, tap, down, catch, tap, down, up. Like I said, I'll post a link at the end of this video to the George Formby one. The chords may be different shapes, but the right hand technique is all that matters. So, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpill Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get, and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we will post. So until next time, take care, keep playing, and as always, goodbye.